Hi, I'm Pastor Berger. John's plane taxied to a gate at Los Angeles International Airport. And although he had been flying for 30 hours from South Asia to California, his heart was pounding at the prospect of seeing Katie. John and Katie had corresponded via email and phone calls for the past two months, but this would be the first time they had met in person. And yet John had already planned on asking Katie to marry him. Here's why in his words. In all reality, the thing that attracted me the most about Katie all along was her heart which was and is incredibly beautiful. When I saw her in person, I was able to see her inner beauty radiate through her eyes and her smile. I was a goner pretty quick. Now, a lot of people might not relate to falling in love with someone you have never even met, and in fact, loving them so much that you are sure you want to spend the rest of your life with them. But I know that you get that, because that describes your relationship with Jesus Christ. The hymn, Once in Royal David City, assumes your heart belongs to Jesus and you can't wait to see him in person. It's so unlike so many other Christmas songs that assume that what you can't wait to see is a decorated Christmas tree with a pile of presents underneath it, or a table spread with a holiday feast, or your neighborhood turned into a winter wonderland by a fresh coat of snow, and of course the faces of family at your front door. But the song, Once in Royal David City, promises a better sight. It promises one day you will see Jesus in heaven. Now, if Jesus was merely some saintly do-gooder from 2,000 years ago, or even an inspiring religious teacher, would you love him and look forward to seeing him? I don't think so. But once in Royal David City identifies Jesus as the God who came from heaven to earth to save you from the fate of hell you deserve for your sins and to give you eternal life with him in heaven instead. And not because you're so morally good or religiously devout or so nice to others, but in spite of the fact that you are not. In other words, simply because he loves you. The hymn puts it this way. But our eyes at last shall see him through his own redeeming love. For that child so dear and gentle is our Lord in heaven above. And he leads his children on to the place where he has gone. John said that the thing that attracted him most to Katie was her heart. How did Jesus capture your heart? Wasn't it with his heart? A heart so full of love for you that he came all the way from heaven to earth for your sake, starting his life in a humble wooden manger and ending his life on a humble wooden cross, suffering for your sins. So you can go all the way from earth to heaven and live with him in glory and joy forever. No heart is as full of love for you as the heart of Jesus. So when life gets tedious, disappointing, or painful, remember where you are going, but especially remember who it is you will be seeing. One day, you will see Jesus. May that encouraging thought give you joy and peace in this holy season.